Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I am excited to bring you a review of the game Hourglass. Now, I did receive this game for free, but that will not sway my opinion in any direction about how I feel about this game. Just wanted to get that out of the way. Now, this game will be available on the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series S and X, as well as the Nintendo Switch. So, I was lucky enough to get two copies of the game, one for my Switch, which I want to talk about that separately, and one for my Xbox. Now, I have an Xbox One, my wife has a Series X, and it plays fantastic on both. So, let's talk about the game. In Hourglass, you create a time clone of yourself to solve challenging puzzles. You will play as a young adventurer who is traveling to Egypt to find her missing father, an archaeologist who never returned from his latest expedition. Pyramids are the tomes of the pharaohs. This is what most people believe, but more and more studies raise doubts about this thesis. Scientists found indications for ancient Egypt being far more technologized than we can imagine. Hourglass is set in a scenario in which those assumptions are actually true. Besides offering an ancient world to explore, Hourglass is mostly about solving various puzzles with a unique core mechanic. Your ability allows you to record your actings for a certain amount of time. After that, time winds back to the beginning of the recording and a time clone of yourself appears, repeating the actions. On your adventure, you will have to use this ability to, in creative ways to get through various areas filled with difficult puzzles. Your journey leads you to a remote temple where you encounter undiscovered Egyptian technologies and portals to a foreign world. Only by unraveling the secrets of these long lost technologies are you able to solve all puzzles on your quest and eventually find your father. Now I said I wanted to talk about the Switch. When I played this on my Xbox One, and it might have been my controller, I'm not quite sure, I had kind of a weird glitch where every time I pushed forward on the right joystick, it would zoom in. On the Switch, I didn't have that issue, and it was the left trigger that made it zoom in. So I'm going to have to take a look at that, but that was the only issue I had on the Xbox. I actually think I prefer the game on the Switch. Because it is kind of like Portal, where you have to solve puzzles in each area and then move on to the next one, I feel like having this game on the go is a really good way to say, oh, I got to waste, you know, 10, 15 minutes. I'm going to try to play, play through a couple puzzles real fast. It's a really fun game, and it's only $19.99. It is also available on Steam, but the reason I'm reviewing it right now is because the game comes out tomorrow, June 30th, 2022, for all the consoles. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you try this game out as it is a lot of fun. And if you want to see more videos like this, please like, subscribe, and comment below. See you guys in the next one.